All right, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, the first round at Irene Golf Club. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the Bushveld Tour. Um, now this is a very interesting round, actually. So um, I'm going to commentate over it as usually do. Round two uh, is going to be coming tomorrow or the next day. And round two is actually quite a special one for me. Um, I'm not going to give it away just for the people that watch the channel um, and don't look at my Instagram and stuff. But as you could probably hear from my voice, I sort of went out to celebrate afterwards. So we're going to get through this anyway. Um, Irene is um, quite a nice golf course. It wasn't in the best condition. They sort of um, decided to put a load of sand on it like the week before. Um, so the greens were a bit dodgy and it just, like a lot of the courses out here, they just need a bit of rain, but we're just getting the rain now. So they should all start looking really good. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get into this. So par five second. Um, and by the way, the, the whole cutout bits, that's coming back tomorrow. I just wanted to get this one up today. Um, so the second hole, par five, I was trying to play this as a three shot. Um, I hooked it left into the trees and then got it out, knocked it down to 183 yards. I hit a really nice seven iron in to this spot um, and knocked in for par. And then the interesting stuff starts to happen. So this is a fairly long par four, 460. Um, I just missed this way right. Got fairly lucky, had 125 in here and just pulled this out the long rough and left myself this chip <laughs> and it is just the uh, exploding grass really still struggling a bit around the greens just because the grass is is very different and some of the dead grass at the moment um, it's very hard to tell obviously especially for an English person that hasn't played on this grass very hard to tell exactly what it's going to do um, sometimes it just like explodes and that's what happens so yeah, some trouble around the greens. Got to two over through three. This is 190 meters. Um, hit a nice seven iron in there, just to the front of the green. Had a long putt for birdie. Okay. Not too bad, knocked it in for par. Um, next hole is another 430 par 4 um, with, it's really tight bunkers down the left trees up the right I just hit this in the left bunker I had 160 and I just tried to hit like a because the lip was quite close I just tried to hit a high cut of a 9 iron it didn't quite cut I got lucky really because um, it didn't actually plug in this bunker so the lie wasn't too bad, but this is just not the side to miss it when the pin's on the left. I was actually trying to hit a big high cut onto the right-hand side of the green or just right of the green so I could make up and down, um, but it just didn't fade. So, <clears throat> yeah, knocked it out to 20 foot. Missed the putt. And then knocked it in from about four foot, and that was quite shaky. Just anything around four or five foot on these greens just felt, I don't know, edgy. Um, fairly short par three, uh, sorry, par four, up the hill, 350-ish. Um, just hitting a five iron. Hit a big five iron there, it went like 240. Um, left myself like 115. And this is, <laughs> I actually struck this well. Um, uphill, just brain was a bit asleep, I think. Just not factoring in the fact that it was a bit up here when I can't hear a sandwich, like a shouldery sandwich, 125 meters. Anyway, parted it up, made bogey. So four over through six, and then we're on to a downhill part three. It's really nice, actually. So it's playing about 15 down. Hit it in there tight. A little monkey there. Left myself under the hole, so this was a um, relatively easy putt, and uh, we got off the uh, the bogey train. So back to three over. Um, 
eight is a like a dog leg right, but there's water around the green. It's only short like 300 meters. Um, really, you're just trying to hit it down the fairway, and then leave yourself like. Well, this was 95 meters, I think. Just took a uh, chop from the ground on the repair, and yeah, hit a nice 56 in here. Much better. Get in there with the wedges, like from that distance. Just like raise the handle and uh, just made it a bit more solid. So got back to two. And then we have a long par five up the hill. As I said today, tomorrow guys, when I post tomorrow's video or, or the next day, the round two, we're gonna be having the like each between, before each shot, before each hole, we're gonna be putting the, uh, the whole layout just so you know roughly what's going on. But anyway, par five, knocked it left at the green for two. Hit a little chip. Not the best. Left myself, what, around sort of like eight foot for birdie. But knocked it in, so back to one. So I'm making a nice move after a shaky start. And now we have another par five. So this is big dog leg right. Quite a tough hole to be fair. She got water short of the green. The green's a small target. Uh, I hit mine up just up the left and I had 220. And I had to hit just a little draw around the tree. Hit a really nice four iron. And um, yeah, just thought you've got to go for that really from there. Um, and I came up, what, like five yards short. Anyway, chipped it up. Knocked in for par. So walking away unscathed. Then we got a 300, 370-ish meter par four. And you're probably gonna see like quite a, yeah, like a low cutty ball flight. So just before, I was actually struggling with driver just coming into this tournament. Just missing it, just getting a bit quick, struggling with transition and just hitting quite a few pushes. This is a nice putt for Buddy. So back to level. I'm uh, just hitting quite a few blocks uh, and I knew Irene needs a pretty tight golf course where you need to, you don't need to hit driver too much, but you need to keep it in play. So what I did was just work out sort of a shot for the week with driver that I could keep in play. And that was just tee it down and just squeeze out a low cut. And um, yeah, it actually worked really well this week just doing that. So anyway, got a lesson tomorrow. So we're gonna be back on the, uh, back on the grind trying to neutralize things. Yeah, downhill par four, had 100, 120 meters into this hole and didn't think I could actually hook it that much. And I just hooked it. It started left and just went left. I was expecting it to start like right side of the green. But anyway, hit a nice pitch and had, I was so pissed off. That was actually quite a makeable part. It was like eight foot and it, I just didn't trust my read. It was like inside right and I blocked it. Just got over it and sort of thought, nah, it's probably gonna move a bit more and should have trusted my read. But yeah, par, long path, long path three, what am I saying? I'm struggling a bit. Uh, path three up the hill, 175-ish. Just let hit eight iron, terrible chip. But yeah, solid putt. So happy to save par. Stay on one. And then we've got a tough par four. Uh, it's this little tough holes, uh, spell of holes, this, this one and the previous two. Uh, this one's sort of like 440 down the hill. Just hitting four iron down there. And left myself, I think I actually left myself like a, I think it's about a wedge from like 155. A big four iron, got a decent kick down there. And uh, actually this is 160 of a wedge, slightly downhill. And hit a really nice wedge shot in there. Oh, here they are. They'll choke hold. Watch this one here, this literally. <laughs> no idea what's going on there. Anyway, back to the golf. Easy putt for birdie. Missed. Just poor read, really. I just felt a bit more slope than there actually was. So, yeah. Um, wild here. <laughs> Welcome to Africa. 
short par four. This is um, a bit of a stretch now of sort of a few holes that you can make birdie, but you can also be punished if you start chasing. So I decided to play this one for the week just as a, you know, seven iron sandwich. This was a sandwich from sort of like 120. Got it pin high. Had this part and this was dead straight. But just left it like six inches short, just right in the front door, which was annoying. And then we have an interesting par three. So this is like 120-ish with water all the way around the front and the right of the green. Big sloping green from back to front. I just hit gap wedge slightly too hard. I, I had no idea this monkey was trying to get my bag either. Trying to get, trying to get the Mars bars. Um, downhill part for birdies is from a long way away as you can see. Gave it a good roll. Then had a fairly testy five footer, which I hold. On to 17, which is a par five, long par five, about 540-ish. I think we're playing it up slightly today. Um, hit a big drive, left myself 150, and just made a, just a crap golf swing. The miss definitely is where I hit it. Um, but yeah, that's just not ideal for Wedge. Caddy's not happy with that either. <laughs> Apart for Eagle. It's like just died just short of the hole. Knocked in for birdie. Got back to level. And then 18 is probably drivable if you go for it. Like 340 is drivable. 330. Um, out of bounds hazard all up the right. And I decided just to play this as a, you know, safe bet. Just four iron. And left myself 80 meters. This little monkey's chasing the mongoose around the tree. Um, yeah, left myself 80 meters. And the pin was back left. So not really a pin you want to go at. Because, just because the green's like sloped. Quite savage from back to front. Near near the pin, so if you miss long left, you're, you're screwed basically. So I wanted to give myself a birdie part, but this wasn't from the distance I wanted it basically. <clears throat> but anyway, knocked it up there, knocked it in for par. Round one, after a shit start, um, managed to get it back to level. So pretty happy with that. Round two's coming tomorrow. Round two's a bit of a special one. You're going to see why. I'm not going to give it away. Obviously, there's probably people in the comments that have followed my Instagram and stuff, so they may. But anyway. See you for round two and then Rupert. The Rupert video is also coming soon to part one. Part two. I'm struggling. See you later.